So in overlapping generation model, time starts in period one, and then it continues period two, period three, period four, and so on. Time never ends. You can think of a period as 50 years, so we, but in the model, we're just gonna call it one period. What happens in each period? Well, in each period, there's going to be a new generation of people born. And every people born, they are going to live for two periods. Uh, in the first period, which is the period they are born, they are young. And then in the subsequent periods, they are old, then we die. If you think about a normal person living for 70, 80, or 90 years of time throughout your life, that's approximately two periods, uh, if one period is 50 years. So this is more or less consistent with reality. In economics, uh, we typically draw this table on the right to reflect overlapping generation structure. So on the horizontal axis, we have period. The first period, second period, third period, fourth, and so on. On the vertical axis, we have generation G. So we have generation zero, generation one, generation two, generation three, and so on. You can really think of uh, generation G as our parents. Generation one as us. Generation two as our kids, generation three as our grandkids. So in period one, generation one, which is us, we are born. So this is when we are born, right? Period one. When we are born in period one, we start young. Moving on to period two, we become old. And then moving on to period three, we die, right? In period two, our kids are born. They, when they are born, they are young. Moving on to period three, they become old, then they die. Then similarly, in period three, our grandkids are born and they are young. Moving on to period four, they become old, then they die, and so on. So this is the overlapping generation structure.